A hard to kill intestinal parasite is showing up in swimming pools across the country. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says crypto cases are up more than 10% since 2009. The parasite is most common in pools. Fox 55's Cody Butler has more on how Fort Wayne Parks and Rec is working to protect you. Kids aren't the only ones making a splash in pools this year. The CDC says the diarrhea causing germ known as crypto is becoming more and more common. When you think about it, yeah, it is a concern. That is why Adina McGriff and her son are taking precautions tonight. I always shower when I, when I get home, too, when I leave here, because you never know. Crypto spreads through human or animal waste and can survive up to 10 days in chlorine pool water. Something Fort Wayne Parks and Rec checks often. Too high of levels um, is, is also equally damaging as too low of a level. Um, it's not safe if, it, if the you know if your chlorine your pH is too high. The best way to protect yourself is to follow the rules posted at the pool, including showering before and after getting in the water and staying out if you've recently had diarrhea. As long as you trust where you're going, then yeah, you won't you won't too much worry about it at that point. Michelle Dempsey says that's why today was a rare day you will find her at Northside Pool. Just came to the public pool just today to do the slides. I don't know. I'm not fond of public pools. Just makes me uncomfortable because of all the germs and you don't know what's going on. The Allen County Health Department says so far this year there have been six cases of crypto reported. In Fort Wayne, Cody Butler, Fox 55 News. Fort Wayne Parks and Rec says you can also protect yourself and others from crypto by using pool diapers on your babies and changing them regularly away from the pool.